went from condos to pops house on calls now bus routes and the one person who had the key to my heart took it and checked out Go, going back to your roots so you actually um you, you're mixed right yes i'm half black half mexican okay okay so so growing up did people kind of see it like ah he's not black enough or he's not mexican enough or, or or how was it like for you growing up you know with two ethnicities you know early ages um i didn't really see that or have to deal with that in a sense i didn't really pay attention to it enough um once i started getting older and once i started kind of being in the streets and just being around certain politics you know seeing how the politics were that was kind of how it was um you know being what you know what i am you know uh kind of not to be so vague you know I'm, I'm i'm a gangster disciple so i'm not even from out here you know like well i'm from out here but you know uh you know my uncle he's from chicago south side of chicago 119th mayberry and basically when he come out here being next to a military base that brings in a lot of people from a lot of different areas you know that brought more of the folks in so mm. i had choices to be from different places you know and it was like okay like i could you know it's uh it's kind of like when you're young you know when you grow up in certain places certain situations it's like a it's like a draft pick it's like yeah, how do yeah. you know people start tugging at you yeah. and uh you know there was just things more things that i agreed with with the folks and just the way that things were and having that influence and, and having a father figures that were kind of just like my big homies it was like okay uh this is what i want to do this is where i'm gonna be from you yeah, know yeah, so yeah. it was kind of like i could have went the route to not choose but it was like i just kind of felt no matter what i do i do it like full-fledged yeah, i do yeah. it 110 percent, nothing less you yeah. know and so it was like okay this is what i'm gonna do I'm young, I'm dropping the sports, I'm not doing none of that no more. It was like, okay, I, you know, being older now and, and having the mentality that I have now, it's like, okay, things could have went differently for me. But at the time, I was young and, you know, I just, uh, that was what attracted me at the time. Yeah, yeah. And and that also show, you know, not just us, but but the, the young ones out there, how important it is to have, you know, a father figure. Very, you know, very as important. a young man out there, especially a young black man, yep. you know, coming from where we come from, you know, not having much poverty, the hoods, yeah. the streets. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, so exactly. I, I think that's important, you know, to, uh, you know, you know, put that message out there. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know, yeah. like everybody needs somebody who they could learn something from. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And everything like that. So, yeah. To answer your question more specifically, yeah, I did. Once I got into that phase of things, then it was like, okay, I'm starting to notice a little bit more. Because then it's like, Mexican gangs start asking where you're from. Oh, like, you know, I'm gee, this and that. If they do know what that is, then they know that's a black, you know, when you do go, when you, whatever the case may be, like, you, it's a black gang, yeah, majority. Yeah. yeah, we have other races, but it's like, that's a black gang. So, or a black organization, I should say. But in the eyes of other people, that's how they see it. But, you know, um, that's that was really when it started to kick in and then um you know i just kind of rolled with it i didn't really see it until i was older that the that the division wasn't really like uh what i wanted to deal with or necessary because i mean i am mexican so it's like how am i going how am i going to go specifically against somebody because of their race and i understand that in the other areas there are black and mexican gangs that are cool yeah. but in our society that's not really how it was it was just more racially divided so yeah. it was like you did have you know, in the valley per se, um, you know, you have a Samoan, predominantly Samoan gang, which is all bloods, you know, and then you have a Mexican gang, which when I was growing up, those two were cool. And yeah. everybody kind of just went against the Crips, which was DVC. Mm. So, you know, but over time, things kind of split and things happened, and now it's kind of everybody for themselves, but it was like it was just more so racially divided. Mm. Even though you do have speckles of little people, you know, some people in other gangs, you have blacks from, from you know, from blood side, which is predominantly Samoans, and you know, you have, uh, you know, you have some, you have Guamanians and Filipinos in those gangs too. It's just kind of varies, you know. Yeah. Um, but growing up in Oceanside, it was more racially divided. Yeah. And yeah. it was like these neighborhoods are just kind of like you're, you're from one side or the other. Yeah. You know, and even where I grew up, it's like you have blacks that are from Pozole, you know, and and stuff like that. But it's yeah. just uh, politically, that was when I started to see things a little differently. But gotcha. Growing up, you know, I had, I was around my Mexican family a lot. Gotcha, you know, I was gotcha. around my grandma, you know, my grandpa, rest in peace to both of them. Um, and, uh, you know, I was, I was, uh, I never shunned it away. I never was like, no, I'm not Mexican. Or I was never like, this isn't what I am. Cause it is what I am, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I always embraced it as much as I could, but earlier on, it was kind of just like, I'm, I was just rolling with the punches. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And did you have siblings? Uh, yes. I have, I have a lot of siblings. Okay. Um, within the house though, I just grew up with two brothers. 
Um, I have little brothers, uh, and then I mean, she's not my blood, but basically I look at her like my sister. But she put me up on game about a lot of things uh, that was very important to me, and, and the influence that she had on me was uh, was very important. And we've been through hell and back. I mean, like, like I said, she's not my blood, but I'll still call her my sister. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you know, we you know have been through a lot of a lot of different things together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and like and like growing up, you know, um, I know you mentioned like you know the gangs and everything like that but would you say you were a, a kid that was a, a trouble kid or did you stay out of trouble and trouble found you trouble you found know? me i would say okay. uh it wasn't really like i was um i didn't really have that that mentality to just go more so the way that i think about it is it was like going into these situations i didn't really do anything to anybody unless it was you know I kind of felt like I was like karma in a sense. Like if you did something to one of my homies or try to rob one of my homies or you jump one of my homies and I saw you out in public, then it was all bad. Mm. But if I saw you walking down the street and it was like, you know, of course, in our society it was like coming up for the ones that didn't know me and I would run into an older that was a crib or whatever the case may be, it was like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm Bishop, I'm so-and-so from this place, you know what I mean? Yeah. And we would exchange that and based off of the history, you know, it would go from there. So there was a lot of different situations like that. Yeah. Um, you know, I've gotten into it with a lot of people from all those different places. So yeah. it was like, uh, I stood my ground, but it was, but I was never the one to just be like, like, oh, okay, let's go get dude. Let's go rob dude. Let's go run in his house. Let's go to this and that. But it was gotcha. like, if, if there was things that were done to the people that I cared about or my homies, then it was like, okay, well, you know what I mean? We'll handle that. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. And, and around this time too, when you kind of like, getting involved with things here and there and everything like that you start to see you know what's yeah. going on around you you know yeah. uh, uh what are some of those things that you had to witness that really like you know probably changed your way of thinking or made you really open your eyes up as a as a young 12 13 year old kid out there i would say that uh one of the things is that you know everybody's not your friend uh, the people that you did grow up with could switch. You know, there was people that I went to school with that ended up being from these hoods that i was getting into it with and you would see them in the streets and it was like I was just playing football with you a summer ago, yeah, you know, yeah. last summer, but it's like now it's on. So I would definitely say that, uh, just people game on the way that people move. Um, basically making sure that you're not putting yourself in the wrong situations. Uh, it's just basically your moves, how you move, how you talk to people. Respect was a big thing, uh, which I did. I knew that from the get go that it was like respect was a really big thing. And that's, I'm still big on that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was just I would just say the way that I moved was the biggest thing. The places I went, the way that I talked to people, the way that I approached people, the way that people approach me. Yeah, yeah. Um But was it like something that you like you 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 seen around this time, you know, that maybe changed you or whatever, like, you know, 12, 13, 14 years old, like out there on the uh, streets, you know, something you had to witness, you know, as a young kid out there, you know, uh, you know, in the streets a little bit and everything like that. I wouldn't say anything specific because there was a lot going on at the time. Gotcha. Whether it was like seeing people that I had known become hooked on drugs and stuff like that, like little mm -hmm. situations, nothing too like. There was no point that really like stood out to me that was like too crazy because I always adapted. So gotcha. it was like it was like okay, like I seen this and that, or I've done this and that, or whatever the case might have been. But I mean that young, it was just more visually what I had seen. Yeah, yeah. So it didn't really. I never really felt like it affected me too much personally. Gotcha. I mean maybe subconsciously it still does, and those are some some of the reasons that I react to certain things the way that I do. But nothing really stands on the forefront of my mind, being like, okay, this really changed my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I would definitely just say that. Uh, you know, people that I grew up with getting locked up eventually. Uh, like I said, people that I grown up with ended up choosing to be from certain gangs, and I, you know, originally around 12, 13 years old, I never really had any intention of doing that. Yeah, yeah. So it was like, damn, okay, this is what's around me. Yeah, yeah. But once I kind of ended up being in all of it myself, it was like, yeah. well, all right, this is a part of life. This is what I'm dealing with. This is the decision that I made, and anything that happened to me, I, I understood that. Like, this is this is what I signed up for. I had to show them that I wasn't made.